Hello, it's Helder here, and today I want to talk to you about CBD. And what I hope to do with this video is basically share some personal experiences on how it's uh, really benefited my uh, personal family, as well as my furry best friends while they were going through some of the most trying times of their lives. So you may be well versed in CBD, maybe have some experience with CBD, but my purpose today is to show basically a layperson's uh, interpretation and experience with uh, CBD products. So if you're interested, stay tuned and uh, let's get started. So what is CBD? As I stated earlier, I'm gonna give you the layperson's explanation here and trying to keep it as simple as possible. So when you think about the cannabis plant, uh, everybody thinks of, of course about the psychoactive effects that it has or that high feeling that it gives you. Well, there's a lot of benefits in that plant and there is the THC component, which is that component that we just talked about that gives you that uh, high, and then there is CBD, another part of the plant that basically contains all the good stuff and all the medicinal benefits that uh, people are touting from anti-anxiety to helping with uh, pain to de-stressing and a bunch of other stuff in between. So why the controversy? Well, the controversy is because cannabis is a plant in the United States that is federally banned from consumption, it's up there with all the higher quote unquote drugs and at the same level and things are changing in our states and uh, hopefully federal, federally soon. But when we do speak about CBD, just keep that in mind that CBD is 100% legal in all 50 states in the United States. Hence me being able to convey this information to you and also why every time you turn around you're seeing an ad for some new CBD product. And uh, let's get into more detail on benefits of CBD. So the best way for me to really talk about it is from, to talk about it from personal experience and personal benefits as opposed to reading about it or uh, taking somebody else's uh, advice, which is always great to get you started. But at the same time, for me, I like practical application. I like to delve in there and, and if a product works, it's going to work. If it doesn't, there's a placebo effect and I try to find out where that issue is. Well, when it came to CBD and uh, years ago that I was exposed to CBD when it first started coming out and it was legal in certain places and not legal in other places. And what ended up happening was I was familiar with the benefits from reading about it. And uh, my dad ended up having sciatica and all sorts of pain and discomfort. He's in his 70s, worked hard his whole life, uh, wasn't really introduced to prop proper movement patterns like many people. And now he's feeling it and uh, having all sorts of issues. And this is my dad, somebody that I deeply care about and love. And of course, if I were to approach him and say, hey dad, I got this uh, marijuana plant thing, and believe me, it's not the high part, but it's the good part, and uh, you should consume some of this and it's gonna help you, he would most likely say, no thank you, and get the hell away from me, right? That's kind of what my dad would say. So I had to disguise this, and I started giving him certain teas that were brewed with the flower of the CBD plant. Or I would take an extract, that you would find uh, anywhere <laughs> these days and take that extract and be able to put it into his tea. And as far as he knows, he's drinking tea. Now, the cool part about this is within about a week, things started to change. He was moving in ways that uh, I generally hadn't seen him move in years. He wasn't complaining as much. He seemed like he had a lot less anxiety, stress, which of course, if I said that to him, he'd say, I don't have any stress and I don't have any anxiety, you know, being the hardcore Portuguese male that he is. But a son knows, and especially a son that spends all day trying to teach people how to refine their own movement patterns. So seeing that happen with my dad, of course, totally flicked on that switch and said, all right, well, there's no placebo effect here because my dad is uh, my dad. He's not going to say, oh, yeah, this tea is great, you know, just because his son gave it to him. If anything, it would kind of have the opposite effect. So basically through silence, I learned a lot about how this was really helping my dad. And I can tell you a plethora of stories from best friends of mine whose moms are going through cancer treatment and didn't want to eat or were feeling the stress or feeling the anxiety or feeling other pain and just not comfortable. And by them consuming CBD products, they were able to change that. So there's a lot of feedback that comes into play when I do speak about uh, the experiences that I'm sharing with you. Now, the, the thing that really solidified uh, for me because you want to talk about no placebo effect is my dogs i had manchester jack russell terrier had him for 14 years but the last year of his life he was really experiencing anxiety i mean to a point where he wanted to bite me and this was my best friend so i knew just things weren't right 
I started seeing various dog products that were containing CBD. And uh, he is a finicky dog, so I wouldn't even know if he would have had those treats. But I went ahead and got them anyway, started giving him those treats. And once again, within a couple days, things started to change. He was back to being the Manchester that he was before. Uh, just, you know, more playful. I could tell that he was relaxed. He wasn't biting me. He wasn't growling and all of these things that I never experienced with him before for the first 13 years of his life. And Manchester has since passed, but he was able to have better quality of life, luckily, because of CBD. Now, fast forwarding to another dog, my pit bull, Bruno. He recently passed away and he fought a battle of eight months with lymphoma. And of course, going to the doctors and going through his chemotherapy and going through everything that this poor dog was going through, I could just tell that he wasn't right. He wasn't feeling pain. I mean, if you're like me and, and your, your dogs are your family, you pretty much have a pulse on, on what they're feeling. You don't know exactly, but you could definitely tell when something is wrong. And I could tell when something is wrong. Bruno wasn't being Bruno. He wasn't jumping up on the couch. He was very standoffish with certain things. Uh, the way he was laying, you could tell he was in an uncomfortable position. Well, once again, I remembered the CBD treats uh, actually spoke to my vet. And like most doctors are going to tell you, they're going to sit on the fence right now because it's something new, something they don't really want to put their, their, their uh, name behind. Uh, there weren't quote unquote sufficient tests. Why? I don't know. Because obviously somebody doesn't have as much to gain by us being able to consume a plant as opposed to their little compressed pills that they're out there touting and quote unquote pushing to everybody. So, but once again, my vet being the, the great vet that she is basically said, listen, off the record, can't really tell you anything on the record. Give it to him. If you think that it's going to help, help, because the great thing about it is it's not going to cause anything. It's not going to deteriorate him uh, for, uh, anymore. So basically, he has everything to gain and very little to lose. Well, picked up some treats, same ones that I had given Manchester, started giving them to Bruno. Started seeing effects from there. I started using other tinctures and other oils that I was mixing with his food. And then eventually just giving him a practical application, you know, orally right in his mouth with uh, the dosage as far as uh, experimenting. I'll get into dosage a little bit later. And as I was giving Bruno these products, these CBD products, everything changed, as I kept saying. And for me, it just made me happy. It made me happy, made my wife happy. Because with anything that we kind of do in life, there and all this anti-aging and all this other stuff that we hear, it's not really about extending the life. It's about having that quality of life while you're living because we take that quality of life away and uh <laughs> there's very little right to look forward to that following day being, being able to have both of my dogs uh have know that i was doing something to help them was a hell of a lot better than just sitting back and watching them deteriorate and once again i owe that all to cbd so getting into types of cbd products well just kind of like everything once it really starts getting out there and becoming mainstream, you end up seeing that ingredient in everything. So I have a bunch of different things here from beard conditioners with CBD, hand lotion and face lotion that's infused with CBD. There is CBD that comes in a regular flower that you can smoke, just like a cigarette. There are other facial sprays, soaps, olive oil, beard creams, tinctures that you can mix with everything, vaping fluid that you can put in your vape if you're a vapor. So as you could tell, there's pretty much something for everybody, and I am just naming a couple of the things. There's gummy bears, there's a, a lip balm, I mean, you name it, and it has CBD in there. The issue that we kind of have right now is dosage, and how much do I give? Well, Unfortunately, because of everything still being up in the air, there really isn't a 100% guideline. So that has to come through your experience. And how much should you give your dog? How much should you give your dad? How much should you consume? And once again, depending on the product, depending on the milligrams. So the only thing that I could really tell you is a fact is that there isn't really any set guidelines now. So experimentation comes into play. But the one thing that through research and just even through experience, nobody's really had any type of negative effect. There hasn't been an overdose from CBD. So that's another thing that we really don't have to worry about. It's not like it's going to make you high and now you can't get to work because you took too much or, uh, or you overdosed 
and now you need to go to the hospital. None of that stuff has ever happened. And I don't see it happening now. And the few cases that you hear here and there, guess what? It was mixed with something else. And that something else never comes into play because people want to find fault in things like CBD. But when it comes to dosage, once again, still up in a year, got to kind of experiment on your own. Another thing, when these products get introduced to the market, everybody and their mother jumps on the bandwagon. And that could be great because prices start to lower, but a lot of misinformation comes into play. And not all CBD is created equally. So there's also that thing that you got to keep in mind. Now, things change on a daily basis, but currently, my go-to company and uh, what I had been purchasing for my parents and for my dogs was through Joy Organics. And currently, they're a very good company with all sorts of different choices that you can get. But more importantly, they have a ton of case studies and they have a bunch of white papers on everything being tested in various labs and not just their own labs, third-party labs. So they're doing everything that they possibly can to be on the up and give you confidence in their products. And for me, that's the kind of company that I want to back. And when my clients come up to me and say, hey, what should I buy? That's what I'm going to recommend currently. Uh, and hopefully they keep up their standards, keep doing what they're doing, remain good to go, and I'll keep on recommending them. But right off the bat, if you do want to start with something, not really sure where to look, don't have something locally, give them a uh, try. I'll have a link in my blog post and also a description in the uh, description field of this video. And they give us a 15% discount code, which is Coach Helder. So if you put that in at checkout, you'll get 15% every time on your order. Pretty good deal. So bottom line, if you've been hearing about all these benefits of CBD, would like to give them a try, know somebody or even yourself that could really use something that's 100% natural, something that isn't going to cause and complicate more problems, so you're not trying to fix one thing and then it's like one of these uh, prescription commercials that you hear with all the side effects that are listed pretty much through the whole commercial. Yeah, there's none of that with CBD. So uh, the only thing I could tell you is give it a try. It can't hurt. It could only help. And then you decide what works for you and maybe what doesn't work for you. But all I could convey for you from my personal experience, it's helped a lot. It's helped me mentally to get through a lot of battles, especially with my dogs. And uh, also being able to see my dad move and other family members move that much better and just have that much more quality of life. To me, that kind of means everything, even regardless of the price or regardless of what the naysayers have to say. Proof's in the pudding, right? If it works, it works. Give it a try. If you do, let me know what you think and share some personal experiences. It'll hopefully help others and entice others to also give it a try. This is Helder. I hope that you found this information useful.